Speeds. Sound speeds. Marker. Hello, Daniel. I was supposed Welcome to say to my podcast. podcast. I was supposed to say Offbeat Productions podcast, scene one, take one, episode zero, take, scene one, take one, shot one, six, five. I don't remember. So. And you didn't say anything. I didn't say any of that stuff. Well, now we, we're not actually. We're not a real now. podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. I okay. mean, first off, uh, hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm Daniel. Daniel, hey, Bob. Yeah. That's nice to meet I've you. I've seen you in my videos. Yeah, it's crazy. You're I've, the guy I've, that can't fucking get it together. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard. I've heard you on the on my calls that are like, "What is this ridiculous yeah, right. thing you just sent me?" The almost. <laughs> you're getting closer. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. No, we're uh, we're just kind of we're we're learning as we go, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all just. We're sort getting of, closer if the, you know, North Pole were. Close to the South Pole. <laughs> right, exactly. Or at least not in the North Pole. Anymore. Exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> first off, okay. So, what? Who, who are we? What do we do? Let's 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 knock that out of the. We uh, do uh, custom merchandise for companies. We're basically fancy corporate shoppers. Perfect. That's yeah. The, <laughs> right? Offbeat Productions is yes, the name of the company. That's the name of the company. And uh, branded merchandise, promotional products, yes. tchotchkes, there's you know, knickknacks, doodads, uh, whatever. There's all, yeah, there's and, all sorts of words yeah. for it. Um, but basically, stuff that has logos on yeah. it, right? Like basically anything, too. Generally given out by a company to promote them in some way. Right, yeah. Um, sometimes sold by the company too, I guess, right? Yes, sometimes it's packaging. It's more giveaway, but if you land anything that's packaging, you're super stoked because if it's part of their package, they have to buy it. Ah, right. I if it, yeah. Sometimes t-shirt budgets get cut. Oh, we didn't have money for the t-shirt, Bob. Sorry to bother you. I got you. I, that sounds bitter, see, but now I... The, the, not necessarily. No, I mean, it's, it it's might, be, might be true, though, it, right? No, it does. Yeah, budget yeah. some... That's the biggest... Oh, I'm sure. budget got cut. It's yeah, kind I'm of sure. the worst thing. I'm sure. We hear it. So t-shirts, you said you do t-shirts. You're actually wearing underneath oh, yeah. there. You're actually wearing a t-shirt that we, is, we made for one of, the, one of the little ads that we did. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> it, it's great. We're they, trying to bring brand align into modern culture, yeah. <laughs> and nobody yet knows about it except nobody you and I, it. and I guess that one person that decided to, to subscribe tune in to right our now. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys can come in if you want. <laughs> um, I I have some of those shirts too. They're really really comfortable shirts. Um, oh, that's good. I, I feel like that's sort of something you guys focus on too. Is, is well, quality. I, you were supposed to get the uncomfortable one. But oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. I, 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 I well, you don't don't send me to pick them up because I looked through and found yeah, you the found nicest. The one, yeah. the, those were yours, huh? There's my mistake. Those were yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to get the one that felt really oh, darn. stiff. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, you you specialize sort of in quality, right? Like your company is. I I mean I've done it long enough that I when I started doing this I would go to trade shows and they had an expression called CPS cheap plastic beep <laughs> right but like some of the stuff was so bad like early imports in the 90s or something where it would be like a desk calendar that had a pen and the whole thing was plastic and had no weight Just fell apart as yeah, soon as you it, picked it up yeah or the pen wouldn't write <laughs> right. and, and I had this boss that would be like you gotta hand these out to the clients and I'm like oh yeah I would and I was like this thing's I can't hand this to yeah, someone I would take it in the car right and I'd put it in the back of my car and I I was going to see guys like Warner Brother Records who are these Long-haired hipsters, and I'm oh yeah, like it's just a little mom, that, little mom and pop place. I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going. There's no way I'm giving this. And it, it turns out it was Dave Burke, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So Dave Burke and I met when we were real young, and now he works with us. But it, he was the guy that he was like, "Oh yeah, give him this thing," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give him this." Thing. Yeah. And I would be like, "This thing is horrible." So <laughs> I always felt kind of like a fish out of water, and like I don't want anyone to know. I do this early when right, I was yeah. a rock drummer. I, I looked a lot like you, like long hair. Thought I was cooler than the room. Not that you do. No, that's totally me. Okay, that's I totally so, me. But I didn't. That's I wanted you on. to say that, not me. <laughs> and 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 the guys that were in there were your stereotypical short sleeve white shirt, pencil, literally the pen, you know, the pencil protector, 
Poindexter, <laughs> yeah. where I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Oh no, please don't let any of my buddies see me here. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. And I would just not really tell anybody that that's what I did. Yeah. Because I was a drummer. So that's that, fair, that yeah. didn't seem to, you know, it was like, what's your day job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but throughout that process, I mean, it, it seems like you guys have really found sort of the the kind of the cream of the crop of yeah you know, all the I kind of had stuff. to because I couldn't get behind you know plastic calendars yeah I can so I that. started like a lot of wearables I'm like well t-shirts hard to go wrong and a lot of requests in that time in L.A. were record company stuff that. You know, a lot of t-shirts, would, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. It's probably not good. Though. Bundles. Oh, that's fine. You'll get used to it. That's why I had you wear the headphones. Oh, so I can then you can hear it. Be aware go, oh, of my own oh. ninny <laughs> Is that it, a word yet? It happens. This this is a new thing anyways. It's on the table. Microphones are new. Microphones I, I are, yeah. I thought they have been around a while. No, no. They just came out with them, like, I think yesterday? Last night. They dropped oh. them at, like, midnight, I think. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> I see Jordan's fascinated by this. Oh, yeah, Jordan's in thr- Like, he is we just... Guy, I yeah. mean, he is, like... I think it's the camera guy. Just yeah, it's our camera guy. Yeah, but <laughs> he's it, like over there. I mean, the camera I think is over here, but at the moment he's, he I don't know what he's doing. Sleeping. He's just kind of he is kind of sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, he's kind of giving me a weird look. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's sleeping still. No, no that's yeah. sleeping. <laughs> wow. <the> half open. <laughs> so. Okay. So these, so these are some samples that you guys have sort of thrown together, and there's all sorts of different like kinds. I noticed. There's, yeah, I mean the, that one's a, obviously like a little coffee a coffee mug with like a handle. Right. You've got one in here that's kind of oh, <laughs> that's kind of got a cork, you know, thing for the bottom. Kind of probably keeps it, you know, from moving around. And then like a thermos. This one doesn't have anything. So this is sort of an example of what you would buy before it yeah. kind of got imprinted or. Yeah, that's or, a. They call that a blank. Right? Okay. It's like a blank white tea. Really or Really high flute and stuff. That's a blank sample. Okay. I don't know if you can comprehend it. I, I'm sure. Our okay. Listeners... So okay. So well, hold on. Okay. So if it okay. So it's okay. Say it one more time. Just I got it. <laughs> so before they put an imprint on it, it's blank. Well, but so there's metal on it. Blank. Well, there's metal though. Blank has in no imprint. I think that's what they mean. I actually never asked the guy. That's fair, but there. I mean, there's on the top of this thing. It says H two go. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, it's unknown why that's there. <laughs> no, I mean, H2 Go, like, that's actually a, a great... Do you know, they're I a water can break down company, this whole right? industry for you. Yeah. Anything that's imported is bought by a company that will decide they're a supplier. They will go to China, and they will go to the Hong Kong trade show and, like, big Chinese trade shows. And they will walk around and go, I like this. I like this. And then they will buy or rent a, an office somewhere and they'll get basic printing machines and they will import, you know, they go out on the limb a little bit and they buy, you know, 10,000 of them. Yeah, large, large yeah. amounts. And yeah. they bring it in and then they made a catalog and then they come to guys like us. We're distributors and they go, hey, we got the best coffee mug there is. And a lot of them are the same coffee mugs I got you. by seven different suppliers. So a lot of times it's geographic. If, these guys are in Utah, and I can get it for a nickel cheaper in New York. It's going to be a dollar more once I ship it. So you kind of go convenience on that stuff. I got you. And then it becomes what's actually usable. And for years, and I would, I would venture to guess that the people that are in my industry, most people don't have no idea how good it is. Because typically a company will call and go, we need a coffee mug. We saw this one online. You will send them the sample, and you will never see it. It'll go great. Let's do a thousand. They send you a logo, you, and we never touch the stuff, and we have no idea if it's good or not. Right. And if it's not, though, we usually hear about it like it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I, the I things. Have my mouse up here on the on the uh, <laughs> on the table this yeah. whole time. The, a mouse? A mouse? There's a mouse on the table. Oh like, gosh! He was just squeaking. <laughs> um, so. But I mean, so with with that being said, I mean, you still the 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 companies that you use that aren't local, yeah. right? 
are, I mean, there's, who's the port, what's the, the port and company, port and company. Yeah. yeah. Those, like, those are some of the comfiest shirts I think I've ever worn in my life. Yeah. And, um, I remember when we were actually sitting and you, you gave me sort of my first couple of shirts that had some stuff on them yeah. to, um, to film. It was a port and company shirt. Oh, it was. Or, or I think it was, yeah, that's the, like, that's the really like soft. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, they, that that matched another shirt that I own, and I was like, "This is like one of my favorite shirts I've ever owned." And, and you're, you're like, like oh, "Oh, it's the same. It's the same brand." Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, that takes that takes I'm sure years and years and years. How many how many years have you guys been in, in oh, business? Uh, well, f- fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> so I don't really know. Um, I believe I've been doing it. I don't know. Gosh. At least 30 years. Yeah. I, mean, I, I try not to count because it, it makes me feel old. That's fair. So uh, it, l- longer than the rest of them out there, or, or I see guys that I've known, you know what I mean? And at this point, we're like the grizzled veterans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you've seen the kind of the whole environment change where what it used to be, I think what I used to not want to be, I'm probably more like that now than... <laughs> I was when I was the long-haired rocker going, I'm never going to be this guy now. I'm like, I, am I, I, can, I, can I be might that have guy. been looking at me <laughs> way back, the older version of me. But I, th- I think what you pick up over the years is like a lot of companies come and go and uh, on the supplier side, and they're not always good. And now there's a big trend where they're buying each other up. So was, there's yeah. a lot less companies, but they're like seven brands I know that are, the same company yeah. now, yeah. They're all crazy. So right? bought. Yeah, that guy told us <laughs> yeah. that. But that's happening. Yeah. So now they're all like trying to, and and it's a little bit of a bummer for the clients because I think once they buy them up, they used to offer their own unique pricing to be more aggressive and stuff. But now it's just bundled all that, together. Then it's bundled together, and it's like you're paying you know four dollars for a shirt no matter where yeah. you get it. So a little of the price shopping's come out of the industry, but. Um, the quality is probably, you know, the company's going to be there, which some of them went out of business. I, you know, I bet we could do a whole nother podcast on things that went wrong. Yeah. And a lot of what I tell people, if I ever have to do a sales pitch is it's not really who you, who you use. It's really knowing who not to use as well. Yeah. Because some companies are unethical or they, you know, you can cheat the printing process and, uh, you know, I buy shirts retail on Amazon or something that I'm like, oh, that's a cute thing. And within three weeks, like, the ink is coming off. Yeah. Head. I'm like, they just didn't cure the shirt. Like, it goes through a dryer, and it's supposed to dry for a certain amount of time. But you can just turn the dang thing up. Yeah. And it'll go through faster, and it's like it's dry enough. Nobody, by the time anyone cares... Yeah, it would still it would still extend its life a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you could extend it if you wanted, and but it's cheaper to run the dryers faster. Yeah, so it goes whoop. Right. Yeah. Dryish. <laughs> so, um, one we'll like kind of we'll just make this the last little question, but yeah, uh, this is like fifteen minutes. I know. You promise I know. I know. <laughs> um, we're actually coming up on fifteen right now, oh, so it's are. actually doing what doing good. So, um, the question I've got for you is, sir, you just mentioned like part of the process of doing a shirt what's sort of the process of working with offbeat like let's say say i'm a i'm a customer right yeah. and i i own a company which i do i own a media company right? right and let's say my media company wants to make a bunch of shirts okay what would be the process jen well if it's a present client they would get a hold of us and like sales reps have ongoing clients so Dan would go, hey, I, I need to do a shirt for, you know, an event. We're going to do a giveaway. And I was like, okay, kind of what's your budget? What, what are you trying to achieve? And a lot of times you find out what's needed and who's going to get it. So one of the co- most common things I have to talk people off is that we're going to a trade show, a buck or under, there's going to be 10,000 people. What can we get 10,000 of? And, and you, you, this is going to sound silly, but it's like, is everyone going to stop at your booth? Well, no. Okay, yeah. so how many do you think will stop at your booth? And it's like, well, maybe half. And it's go, okay, good. How many do you think you're going to talk to and they're actually going to be clients? And it's like, well, maybe, you know, 20% of those. And it's like, so we're really talking about 1,000 people. 
So they wanted to spend, you know, $10,000 on something, and they were prepared for that, and they were going to, they were thinking of the, how many people coming, but the truth is they're going to maybe talk to 1,000 people. Now they could spend 10 bucks on something and yeah. maybe even weed that down further and give them something impactful. Yeah. Because if you, have you gone to a trade show? Have you ever? I've been to similar stuff. I mean, fairs do it all the time, yeah. right? I mean, you walk by a booth, you know, selling lawn care, and they're like, "Here's a here's a lawn, yeah. or here's a beer koozie." You know, come on in, let's talk to you about some stuff. And you and put like, it all in a bag. Yeah. And that bag goes swag, home, and baby. You never look at it again. Right? <laughs> That's fair. Especially yeah. if it's like a beer koozie or yeah. something that you don't immediately go. So we kind of walk through the process of like. What do you do? Where do you, where do you want this thing to land? And do you want people? You know, a lot of times people, I just need a cheap T-shirt. I'm like, are they, is anyone ever going to wear it? Again? Wear a cheap T-shirt yeah, like, again? Yeah, like when you go into your drawer, do you yeah. go, oh, I want the cheap one? Exactly. Today. Yeah, you know, like you, I said, I wear I wear that one yeah. shirt, and like I love that shirt, and I wear it a lot because it's comfortable. So then, if that's an extra seventy five cents, yeah. it kind of becomes like, well, why are we? Why are we stuck to this cheap idea? Yeah. So a lot of times I'm... So you, I mean, you, you logically walk people through the process and yeah. like logically walk through even their own thought process sometimes yeah. and then go, oh, and yeah. And then like, I dismantle wait, wait. it because they're always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, right? The customer's always wrong. Yeah, that's kind of how we've kept alive this whole time. And yeah. No, no I mean, sometimes there's a reason and, right, you know, yeah. if you get to that, you get to that. And sometimes they haven't thought it through. A lot of times I find people just... Or kind of obeying what was passed to them via email, or right, and right. They, yeah, they no. never kind of went. Oh, well, wait. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And let's think about this. And and if you get to the human, then usually the human makes good decisions. But if you For get sure. like the the person that's just filling out the to do list or just checking a box, then sometimes that's tough. And and then those aren't always great clients for us. Like we want to be engaged a little more than yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't. I I do. I'm the same. I'm the same with my with my film stuff. You know, if, yeah. if somebody's like, well, you know, can you can you do this and 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 this. It's like, well, hold on a second. Like, are you, can I can I try the other stuff first? Then it kind of tells me like, okay, well, that's that's yeah. how this person's gonna be. You know, and it's like, okay, well, maybe I can wash my hands of this early. Yeah, sometimes it's not a good. <laughs> So but, we have situations like band guys, right? So I'm, I'm sure, a drummer. Yeah. And, you know, I have a friend. I'll, I'll leave him his name out of here in case Fair. he watches social media. <laughs> but he came to me and he had pulled art off the internet. And the art is literally Low quality. unusable. Yeah. And he, he started getting, like, annoyed that I didn't solve the art immediately. Like, I'm, I need to send this out. I need to make some moves, right? And he goes, well, you know, I'll just go to Vistaprint. And I'm like, part of me is like, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Because you're going to call me going, what the f- What is did I just this? get? Yeah. Because they would just take that art and, and they would it. go, that's what you get. You wouldn't even look at yeah. it. Yeah, they'd, and I've it done that before. And, yeah, and, and it comes out that. Happens, yeah. Or you see it in some odd placing where it was like, well, you, uh, you didn't you say that. where. You said front chest. So yeah. <laughs> we put it up here. Yeah. And it's nobody wears it like that. So sometimes it, you know, but you'll weed them out. Right. So if I go, hey, it's going to be $50 to fix your art, but you'll have it forever. And you go, I can't afford that. Then I don't know if I want yeah. that guy. No, right. If he's sure. out 50, on 50 bucks and I can, I can reprint this on all sorts yeah, of and stuff. It'll look that's amazing. Good. Yeah. And, and you, you know, you think, and I had explained this, I go, you're going to charge 20 bucks for a shirt yeah, you'll and they're going to give you cash quick. and, and it's going to be like seven or eight bucks to make it like who really cares if it's seven or eight, right? You're going to make 13 or $12. Is yeah. it, like yeah, if, you're, if, you're if, making a killing on if, it. Yeah. So. If your band <laughs> selling shirts, you're doing fine. Right. Yeah. So let's fix the art. Let's slow down. You might miss a show. While I figure out how to re, and he sent me, you know, if it's normal art, it's kind of, but it was like this crazy draw. It was li- literally a painting. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's on the internet. So now the resolution. It was pixelated. Yeah. yeah and you're I'm like, sure, yeah. And, and there's no, yeah. So we sent it out. I, I think I've sent it out to 14 or 15 people. And you're kind of looking for the person that's slow enough to go, I can do this and I'll do this for, as a favor. You know, the, there's a lot of people that go, yeah, I'll do it for $250. Right, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I'm trying to imagine me going back going, 
it was going to be seven or eight, but now I got to throw the R charge in. Now it's a sixteen dollars shirt, and <laughs> then he's going to be mad, and he's going to walk around and think that Offbeat's yeah, like a rip off. Offbeat did such a terrible I'm job. Like, no, I wasn't ripping you off. But I, off. but that's but that like you said, you know, weeding weeding that kind of stuff out, yeah. you know, is is important. And I think that you know, there's a delicate way to do it, and there's a non delicate way to do it. And I think if obviously. If you're still around after this many years, you probably yeah. don't use the the brutal way. I, I, <laughs> yeah, you try to want to go to sleep at the end of the night, right. not going, God, I, why did I tell him? There was one time I did cold call a guy. Okay. And I thought I was doing good, and I had, you know, I chased him several times back in the days when people cold called, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a pretty big company, and, like, one day he just kind of told me to fuck off. Yeah. Like, and and he hung up and it was like probably the first time I, I used to be pretty charming on the phone and kind of took pride in like you know it's a counter thing right and somebody says well I'm not really it at the time it's like well in the future or, yeah. you know you, you might find a way in right and I hung up the phone and I was mad right <laughs> and I called him back and I, I didn't tell him off but I go listen I am just a guy trying to make a living there is no reason for you to tell me to fuck off. Yeah. It would have been, it's okay for you not to use me, but you could have just went, you know, there's just a, a, about 19 other ways that that didn't have to trash someone. And whenever I trained sales reps, I would see, especially in the days when you cold called for a living, yeah. in an hour, their heads down on the desk, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so much rejection that human can handle. And I'm always like, they're not rejecting you. They don't know you. Yeah, it's, they're just rejecting the idea, and you know it's it's very tough. It's cold call except tough. Oh tough yeah, thing. for sure. You got to sure. have a, such a humor. Well, this seems this seems like it could honestly be kind of a, a tough industry to even to even try to figure out too. So it's cool that there's you know a company like you out there because like as a I mean I'm also part of a couple bands as you know, yeah. <laughs> and um, you know when it comes to making merch and stuff, it's yeah. like. I wouldn't even know where to start, right. like to do my own. Like, oh yeah, let me go, let me buy a bunch of shirts, and then I'll find somebody to like, I guess silk screen them or yeah, you know. And what it's do you like, want to do? These? I don't know. Print you know, them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just put this picture on there. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool to like know that there's somebody I like. I mean, I essentially just did that with you. Like, hey, I need some shirts, yeah. and it's like, well, all right, let's figure it out. Did you know, I get a sale out of that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Can we give Jordan commission? He's away. Sure, sure. Yeah. So. If people wanted to say get in touch with you to to talk about getting Holla. merchandise made, right? Yeah, what's the best way to do that? Well, I think these days people are, you know, some people aren't even emailing. That's fair. Yeah. Do you know you can call someone now? I I, I tried a service and they went directly to, hey, how can I help you? Text back. Oh wow! <laughs> They're you like driving going. people away from actually having conversation. Wow. I like the phone. People don't really call us anymore. So it's mostly email that people are getting yeah. in touch with us. And, and you can look below to see the email. Perfect. It's right there. there. It's right there. there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> here, we'll put it up what here instead. What are you pointing of, at that? I'm sorry. Well, do you yeah. see that? you like that? Yeah. I changed it. It was offbeat before. You don't know what I'm talking about because it's an effect that I'm going to add in after. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I should look knowingly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, yeah, see that? yeah, that's great. See how they How'd you do that? That's, I can't even see that. Yeah. That looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh, there it, goes. there it goes. That's my best line video. Oh, that, you're right. It's no longer there. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. 